scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. First Chronicles chapter 29 and verse 12. Someone's life is about to change. Read it as loud as you can. Ready? One to read. Both riches and honor come from you, and thou reignest over all, and in thy hand is power and might. In thy hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Where does riches and honor come from? Can I tell you, it is possible to have riches and not have honor. What does it mean to have honor? To have honor means to be regarded and to be rewarded to match your true worth. If honor is not at work in your life, you will be underestimated and undervalued. Are we together? The perception that people have about you will not match the true perception. Because Solomon had honor. When the queen of Sheba came to him and she saw everything, she said half of this was not told me. Keep that scripture there, please. 29, 12. Both riches and honor come from you. And thou reignest over them. It says, in your hand is power and might. How many of you believe in prosperity? Don't feel bad if you don't believe. That's all right. How many of you believe it is the will of God to prosper you? How many of you believe you can do more for the kingdom in the presence of abundance? Even though some of you, the way you are, you will backslide when God blesses you, but that's why you are in church. We are here to help you. But how many of you believe in all fairness that many issues in your life will come to a, 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 an end with full stop in front of it when God solves your problem financially? How many of you agree that most of what you have written in your prayer request now is largely finances? How many of you are honest and will not lie? You see, Ba, my dear people, listen to me. This issue of finance, no matter what else goes forward in your life, if you are down financially i assure you by the god of heaven you will be limited in a way that will annoy you forever are we together now every time we talk about finances i, I i've told you this that there are two schools of thoughts there are people who are just carnally minded and their their entire scope the scope of their idea about finances is just fueling the lust of the flesh no this is not what we are teaching we are people of intention and mission. We know that every time God places resources in your hands, it provides the platform for the betterment of your own life and the advancement of your king, the, his kingdom. We've taken our time to discuss that. It is important for you to know the role that the presence and the availability of financial resources can bring to your life there are needless troubles there are needless battles there are needless health concerns there are some of you we keep praying for you all the time because it's not a medical condition 
what is happening to your health is a reaction of something not all right with your finances I vowed a vow before God I've taught you here that I will never never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant and then they lack the resources to be able to help them make progress I believe in influence I believe in God coming through for his people I know what it means to be in a state of limitation compromise is easy when you are in the presence of financial limitation let me repeat compromise is very easy when there's financial limitation in your life there are preachers bleeding and crying today simply because of financial resources there are many people who are even more anointed than the Joshua Selman's greater across board. The financial resources that will help them amplify what God has given them is not there. There are books that people have within their spirit that can bring revelation to the body of Christ and help us solve areas of ignorance in our spiritual work. But simply because they are limited. You've heard me say the name of Jesus is very heavy. It takes financial resources to lift it up. It takes more than desire. If you must lift up the name of Jesus to the nations. Don't let anyone bring you to a point where you downplay the importance of being empowered financially. Believe me. You may act, pretend some of you the reason why the teaching on finances or teachings miracle services like this a call to receive this empowerment it doesn't mean much to you is because someone else is giving you from his harvest you've not been exposed to seeing what a have or a lack of harvest from your carelessness of not sowing if somebody can bring a harvest and share with you and so every time they say receive you say no because there is an uncle somewhere i can run to It takes financial resources to bring glory to the name of the Lord and I tell you for as long as your heart is open something will come upon your life tonight it says both riches and honor come from you that it is within your power to make great Isaiah chapter 48 and verse 17. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God which teacheth thee to profit and lead thee by the way that you should go god listen carefully god not a job god not a business god not an investment i've taught you here the foundational law that governs the activation of the blessing of god upon a man's life is that you must come to a point where you acknowledge that all blessings come from god Blessings don't come from your job. Please hear me. Blessings don't come from the investment you are involved with. Not kingdom blessings. Blessings does not come from your real estate or whatever it is you are involved with. The challenge with many believers, and that's the reason why we are not able to see the power of God, is that our minds are on the vehicles and the platforms that help us to prosper. Not the one who gives the prosperity. The vehicles are only profitable to you when God has authorized it to come to you. Are we together now? It is very important. The Bible says, except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over a city. He said the watchmen watch it, but in vain. It is vain to wake up in the morning early and to sleep late at night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. Please look at me listen to what i'm teaching you tonight a life of hustling and running from pillar to post just depending on a job or depending on a business or depending on some investment to empower you you can become your investment can work well for you and one sickness can destroy an investment of 10 years within one month 
one arm robber can come and attack you and collect everything you have labored for it is the blessing of the lord that make it rich let me drum it again to our spirits respectfully ladies and gentlemen do not look at people who are not of faith and say after all they don't love god everybody must bow to something spiritual for authentic and lasting wealth to come let me repeat it just because you were not there when they were bowing does not mean they did not bow it is impossible to rise beyond a certain threshold of wealth see there are levels of wealth when you get to bar it's not goods and services you sell again <clears throat> it is your allegiance and your fraternity with the spirit that continues your journey from that point ask any wealthy man some of you here god has granted you the privilege to be millionaires and billionaires you know i'm not lying please away with all that talk that just makes you ignore spirituality out and just believe that it was just brain work if you are convinced that it's only your brain work that took you so far, keep watching. There are results that men cannot get. There are results that businesses alone cannot produce. There are financial results that investments alone cannot produce. There are results that businesses and jobs alone cannot produce. God's desire tonight is to purify your heart to realign your understanding and then to release something genuine upon your life that you will see changes in your life you will know can i tell you this i want you to make up your mind and believe that god is able to empower you the spirit that makes you have to sit down and wait for others to be blessed for you to eat i cursed that spirit this night <laughs> hallelujah because you see, when it has to do with the grace of God, everybody can partake of it. Is that true? Give us Acts chapter 4 and verse 33. Let me show you something. The Bible says, And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord. Read the remaining part, please. And great grace was upon how many? Great grace was upon them all. There are certain giftings of the spirit you will say he gave some but when it has to do his with his increasing and his empowerment is in everyone's destiny in christ great grace was upon them all now let's talk for a few minutes about greatness and we'll begin to pray because god spoke to me most of you have not paid attention to the subject of greatness nor have we been taught the necessity greatness is very powerful to 2019 or 2020 i think around the period of my birthday usually i would take out time to just pray and ask the lord to give me a prophetic word for the next season of my life and god gave me this scripture and there was a striking difference striking difference between those two three years of my life striking difference psalm 71 and verse 21 please read it as a prophetic word to your life ready one to read thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side one more time for the last time What does it mean to be great to be great means to increase in size to be great means to increase in size to be great means to expand beyond your current level to expand beyond your current level to be great means to be beyond the ordinary or to be beyond average to increase in size to expand beyond your current level to be great means to be beyond the ordinary or average when you are above and beyond the ordinary when you are above average you are great what does it mean to be great to be great means to be important 
and to be distinguished that's what it means to be great to be given a perception of importance and to be distinguished and the bible tells us that it is in every believer's destiny in christ to be great greatness is not privy to a group of preachers a group of businessmen a group of politicians a group of professionals in christ everyone is destined for greatness God's servant, Bishop David Oedeko, will say that there are no low callings in Christ. That everyone has been ordained by God for a high calling. Genesis chapter 12, from verse 1 and 2. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show you. Let's read verse 2 together. Ready? want to read and i will make of thee a great nation uh-huh and i will bless thee uh-huh and i will make thy name great thou shall be a blessing just stop there what does it mean to be great to be great means to rise to a level where your life perpetually becomes and remains a blessing write it down to be great means to rise to a point to rise to a point in life and destiny where you can become and remain a blessing in the kingdom we measure greatness not just by how high you rise but how massive your impact and your contribution as far as being a blessing is concerned to be able to rise to a point where you can become and remain a blessing he said i will make a great nation of you Genesis chapter 17 and verse 6. A blessing and a prophetic word that God gave Abraham. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, he says. And I will make nations of thee. And kings shall come out of you. Do you believe this? Please hear me, everyone at the sound of my voice. I don't care how you arrived here. By reason of natural descent I don't care how the things and the happenings around your life the kinds and levels and the frequency of failure around your life I'm announcing to you at this miracle service that God still um, destines for you to be great to rise to a point where you listen 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 let me tell you something about greatness greatness is also measured by the degree to which your personal goals have been satisfied that you can now turn and focus on lifting others and being a blessing provided you are still at a realm of meeting your needs and trying to make ends meet you are not great are you getting what i'm telling you now that god desires believers that we rise to a point where god would have sorted us left right and center and now you can have the privilege and the convenience to use your influence your intelligence the anointing of god upon your life and then your resources to now begin to reveal jesus to many around you that's greatness unfortunately not many people are ever able to rise to that level because at best most people keep scrounging around the base of destiny fighting with one another in petty jealousy not knowing that everyone has been destined for a glorious life in christ It doesn't matter what background you came from listen carefully it doesn't matter what has worked or what has not worked in your life male or female old or young there is there is potential for greatness in everyone you know we live in a world where it looks like God particularly hand pick a few people in ministry and pick a few people in business and pick a few people in politics and then the remaining keep cheering and admiring no that can't be God can I tell you this? If all of us in this auditorium and around become great in Christ, it still will not interrupt anything as far as our personal results are concerned. Do you agree with me? Question, if God grants you the grace to build your house, does it affect my house? If God grants you the grace to take your children to good schools, does it affect any other person? No. 
the idea that just a few people should stand out and the rest keep sharing like like a flock like animals is not a it's a very wrong perception about god the bible says great grace was upon every one of them we have a heritage of greatness in christ but can i tell you this it takes the empowerment of the spirit it takes the empowerment of the spirit to lift people like we read in that scripture it is god that makes great if god does not lift you you cannot be lifted listen even principles don't just work on their own it is the power of god that empowers principles to work principles on their own don't just work there is a force from the realm of the spirit that empowers principles i like to give examples with cooking many of us here are good in the kitchen as you cut your ingredients and mix this and mix that according to the principles usually that pot is kept on fire is that true something is happening under while you are adding the ingredients most of the foods that we eat require fire require cooking to assume the state that we want more than just adherence to principles you must encounter the power that makes for performance can i tell you a majority of what god is going to be doing tonight is empowerment empowerment just placing something on your life placing something on your destiny for some of you adding to what you already have because the validity of what you have is exhausted it's clear in your life now that you have stretched and it is enough more love more power more of you in my life more love more power more of you in my life more love more love more power Man of God, you can have a thousand sermons. You need the power of God to produce results. Genuine results. Can I tell you this? With all due respect, I can tell you sincerely, human beings are not stupid. Nobody will come and gather and sit down to listen to you if they know you don't have anything to offer. Human beings are not idiots. They will not shut their shops, leave their homes, take the risk, fly from one nation to the other. Who do you think you are without the power of God? But when that power is there, to the degree that is needed. To the degree that is needed. To the degree that is needed. Please look up. In Africa and in Nigeria, there are markets that are designated for certain things. Is that true? There's what we call in Abuja here, fish market. Which other one do we have? We have all kinds of markets that focus on certain things. You cannot go to a fish market looking for material, clothes. You most likely may not find it there. But there are malls that they will tell you this is home for everything almost everything you are looking for they call it a one-stop shop for everything for as long as you step in there you go to large malls like dubai malls you can step in there and literally the only thing i'm sure they don't sell there are human beings anything at all people took out time to intelligently make sure that everything is there when you become like that mall you see that so the sick know that if I come, there is something for me. Those who say, I am not sick, but it's just still a place for me. My life is not going forward. There is still something for them. All men seek for you. You must trust God for an encounter with power. Let's stop making noise, giving explanations, wasting, help those under the anointing, wasting the time of God's people. It takes power. It takes power 
to turn dreams to reality it takes power to bring healing to the sick every testimony that you see here is a product of power the prophecy upon your life is power dependent for its manifestation man of god you must desire the power of god genuine empowerment sincerity of heart is good but it's not enough don't be like the fig tree that has green leaves and yet no figs what kind of power are you receiving tonight number one the power to get wealth there is such a thing as the power to get wealth but thou shall remember the lord thy god for it is he that giveth thee the power some version said the ability to produce wealth the power to get wealth listen there are ideas that produce wealth there is your value that you turn to products and services and sell it to a targeted consumer base to produce wealth but there is the power to prosper the power to get wealth most people have not encountered the power to get wealth most people have ideas that produce wealth most people have skills that produce wealth but you are like that fridge with no light you are like a television that can show different channels but no light more than your skills and beyond your skills it takes the power of the holy spirit why am i telling you this because this is what is going to land on your life this night <laughs> apostle i have a shop but no customers what is wrong absence of power not absence of products there are clearly products there and it is true that your products are needed there are more than enough people for someone to come there but it takes power the gentleman who said he had a dream he had been building and it got to i think zinking or somewhere lintel level and it stopped there for a long time the spirit that brings you close to it and yet you never truly actualize it the power to get wealth god is able to bring power god is able to increase people and then let me tell you this one of the assignments of the power to get wealth number one it is a supernatural empowerment that comes upon you and it will draw people it will draw opportunities and it will draw resources to you but you see the power to get wealth is also the power that opens your eyes to see there is a relationship between prosperity and your sight hear what i'm telling you i want to reveal a mystery for you if your eye is blind you will be poor it says lift up your eyes and see as far as your eyes can see isaiah 45 verse 3 isaiah 45 verse 3 tonight's miracle service was made for you and i will give thee the treasures of darkness question there are treasures but the problem is that they are in a place where there is no light how do you now know that they are there if you do not have the power to see you can pass it and not know if i drop a bundle of money here cash and i off the light and make sure this place is dark you can keep pushing it as many times and yet not see i will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that i the lord which calleth thee by name i am the god of israel the treasures of darkness do you know why god put darkness there so that no one else will see it until the person appointed 
the treasures of darkness some of you by reason of this impartation you will pass a land you have been looking every day and this time around you say i'm seeing something that no one else is seeing every major business today you see believe me when i tell you it was a treasure in darkness it was always there but the eyes to see the eyes to see the eyes to see the eyes to see if your eye is blind you will stand and weary yourself at the gates of prosperity and not be able to see can i tell you if everybody is seeing what you are seeing they can't reward you for it there is nothing unique when everybody is seeing you can't clap for me for seeing what you are seeing no but if i am seeing what you are not seeing and i can bring it out and make it visible to you then you have to reward me for reaching into darkness with that light the power to prosper can place something on your destiny and you start seeing in a desert you will see an oasis there because the veil has been taken away from your eyes please listen to me most of us continue to pass wealth every day but because of the blindness of our sight you can sit down and with the eyes to see god can reveal secrets to you and in one moment look at that gentleman for god's sake he found out that nothing else was working in his life didn't go to school didn't do anything and he just felt lord what will i what can i do and he went to the field do you know there are many football fields he would have gone to the one where his destiny helper is not he would still be playing football but it takes the eyes to see listen when i pray this prayer you will know who to not relate with and who to relate with because there is jonah and there is jesus beware of who is on your boat don't carry jonah in the in a bit to look for jesus listen carefully you need the seeing eyes businessmen listen to me without the seeing eyes everything looks like white from a distance it's until it comes close you say ah no this is black the seeing eyes satan always comes as an angel of light there are some of you the financial troubles you got into in your life is because of blindness you thought it was this and found out it was not the power to prosper corrects your vision so that you are able to see why am i taking out time to tell you this so that when we start praying you don't just fall and stand for nothing you know what you are receiving the financial testimonies that will arise from tonight's miracle service will bring glory to the name of the lord can i tell you this hear me i'm saying this prophetically you will hear testimonies of nobodies people who as they are standing here they are still surprised by themselves say what has brought me to this realm products of prophecy hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.